Nandrolone decanote, sold under the brand name Decadurabolin among others, is an androgen and anabolic steroid AAS medication which is used primarily in the treatment of anemias and wasting syndromes, as well as osteoporosis in menopausal women. It is given by injection into muscle once every one to four weeks. Side effects of nandrolone decanote include symptoms of masculinization like acne, increased hair growth, voice changes, and increased sexual desire. The drug is a synthetic androgen and anabolic steroid and hence is an agonist of the androgen receptor, R, the biological target of androgens like testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, DHT. It has strong anabolic effects and weak androgenic effects, which give it a mild side effect profile and make it especially suitable for use in women and children. Nandrolone decanote is a nandrolone ester and a long lasting prodrug of nandrolone in the body. Nandrolone decanote was first described in 1960 and was introduced for medical use in 1962. It was the second nandrolone ester to be introduced, following nandrolone phenylpropionate in 1959, and is one of the most widely used nandrolone esters. It is also one of the most widely used AAS worldwide. In addition to its medical use, nandrolone decanote is used to improve physique and performance, and is said to be the most widely used AAS for such purposes. The drug is a controlled substance in many countries and so non-medical use is generally illicit. Medical uses Nandrolone decanote is approved in the United States specifically for the treatment of anemia of renal insufficiency and in the United Kingdom specifically for the treatment of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. In Australia, it is approved specifically for the treatment of acute renal failure, chronic renal insufficiency, anemia of renal failure, aplastic anemia, osteoporosis in women in whom estrogens are contraindicated, inoperable breast cancer, and for patients on long-term corticosteroid therapy. In New Zealand, it is approved for osteoporosis, inoperable breast cancer, and as an adjunct to therapy for conditions characterized by a negative nitrogen balance. The drug is often used off-label to preserve lean mass in HIV, AIDS patients and in other wasting syndromes. In the past, nandrolone decanote has also been indicated and used for a variety of other conditions and situations including pre- and post-operative use for increasing lean mass, treating weight loss due to convalescence or disease, geriatric states e.g., general weakness, fatigue, burns, severe trauma, ulcers, and selected cases of growth failure in children. Starting in the 1970s, the indications of nandrolone decanote were refined and use of the drug became more selective and restricted. Its use in medicine continues to decline and has become limited, with its sale having been discontinued in many countries. Because of their reduced androgenic effects, nandrolone esters have not generally been used as a form of androgen replacement therapy for treatment of androgen deficiency in men, and have instead been used solely as anabolic agents. However, nandrolone decanote has been and can be used at low doses as a means of androgen replacement in postmenopausal women, for instance to maintain or increase bone mineral density and decrease the risk of osteoporosis. It is one of only three androgens approved for androgen replacement in postmenopausal women, the others being testosterone and esters and methyltestosterone. Nandrolone esters have also more recently been proposed for the treatment of androgen deficiency in men due to favorable properties including their high ratio of anabolic to androgenic effect and consequent much lower risk of scalp hair loss, prostate enlargement, and prostate cancer relative to testosterone. Dosages a dosage of nandrolone decanote of 25 to 50 mg once every 6 to 12 weeks, working out to an average exposure of about 2 to 8 mg per week by intramuscular injection is considered to be appropriate for general androgen replacement therapy in women. A dosage of 50 mg once every 2 to 4 weeks by intramuscular injection is used in the prevention and treatment of postmenopausal osteoporosis and in the palliative treatment of inoperative breast cancer. For children aged 2 to 13 years, the average dosage for anemia of renal disease is 25 to 50 mg every 3 to 4 weeks by intramuscular injection. Dosages in men and for other uses have also been described. Available forms Nandrolone decanote is or has been available in 25 mg per milliliter, 50 mg per milliliter, 100 mg per milliliter, and 200 mg per milliliter formulations in oil for intramuscular injection. 
In the United States, only the 200 mg per milliliter formulation remains available. Non-medical uses Nandrolone decanote is used for physique and performance enhancing purposes by competitive athletes, bodybuilders, and powerlifters. It is one of the most popular injectable AAS worldwide, and nandrolone esters have been said to be the most popular AAS used by bodybuilders and in sports. This is in part due to the high ratio of anabolic to androgenic effect of nandrolone and its weak propensity for androgenic and estrogenic side effects. Contraindications Contraindications for nandrolone decanote include pregnancy, breastfeeding, prostate cancer, male breast cancer, breast cancer in women with hypercalcemia, hypersensitivity to nandrolone decanote or excipients such as Iraqi's peanut oil, includes those with peanut and soy allergies, nephrosis or nephritis, liver disease with impaired bilirubin excretion, and cardiac failure. High dosages may also be considered contraindicated in women due to their high potential for virilization. Side effects The side effects of nandrolone decanote are dependent on dosage, duration of treatment, and individual sensitivity. A number of common, uncommon, and rare side effects have been observed with the medication at recommended dosages. While less common or severe than with many other AAS, the most common side effect of nandrolone decanote is virilization masculinization, in women. Uncommon side effects of nandrolone decanote at recommended dosages include fluid retention, inhibition of spermatogenesis, testicular atrophy, erectile dysfunction, gynecomastia, increased frequency of penile erections, increased penis size in pre-pubertal boys, clitoral hypertrophy, increased pubic hair growth, oligomenorrhea, amenorrhea, hyperlipidemia, decreased HDL cholesterol, increased hemoglobin to abnormal high levels, hypertension, nausea, epididymitis, bladder irritation, irritability, reduced urine flow, benign prostatic hyperplasia, priapism, premature epiphyseal closure, in children, and acne. Rare side effects include abnormal liver function, jaundice, peliosis hepatis, liver tumors, oily skin, greasy hair, rash, pruritus, echinthema, urticaria at the injection site, and furunculosis. Local injection site reactions may also occur, unlike 17-alpha-alkylated AAS such as methyl testosterone, nandrolone decanote is not associated with hepatotoxicity. Virilization Nandrolone decanote causes virilization as a common side effect in women, including acne, hoarseness of the voice, hirsutism, excessive facial, body hair growth, and libido changes, among others. Clitoral enlargement is an uncommon symptom of virilization that can occur. Virilization is especially prevalent and marked at high dosages of nandrolone decanote and or with long-term treatment, and some aspects of virilization like voice deepening can be irreversible. Hoarseness is often the first sign of voice changes. Although said to be only slightly androgenic, nandrolone decanote may still occasionally cause virilization at recommended dosages in women, especially with long-term treatment. A minor though statistically insignificant incidence of virilization has been observed in women treated with nandrolone decanote short-term at a dosage of 100 mg every two weeks for 12 weeks. Conversely, long-term, greater than one year, studies have shown significant virilization in women even at a dosage of 50 mg every two or three weeks. Overdose the acute toxicity of nandrolone esters in animals is very low and there are no reports of acute overdosage with nandrolone decanote in humans. There are no specific recommendations for the management of nandrolone decanote. Interactions Antiestrogens like aromatase inhibitors e.g., anastrozole, and selective estrogen receptor modulators e.g., tamoxifen, riloxifene can interfere with and prevent the estrogenic effects of nandrolone decanote. 5-alpha reductase inhibitors like finasteride and dutasteride can prevent the inactivation of nandrolone in so-called androgenic tissues like the skin, hair follicles, and prostate gland, and may therefore considerably increase its androgenic side effects. This is opposite to the case of most other AAS, which are either potentiated by 5-alpha reductase in such tissues or are not substrates of 5-alpha reductase. 
Antiandrogens like saproterin acetate, spironolactone, and bicalutamide can block both the anabolic and androgenic effects of AAS like nandrolone decanote. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Nandrolone decanote is a nandrolone ester, or a prodrug of nandrolone. As such, it is an androgen and anabolic steroid, or an agonist of the R, the biological target of androgens like testosterone and DHT. Relative to testosterone, nandrolone decanote has enhanced anabolic effects and reduced androgenic effects. It is considered to have strong anabolic effects but weak androgenic effects, with respective potency ratios of 3.29 to 4.92 and 0.31 to 0.41. Index value 10.6 to 12.1 or about an 11 to 1 ratio of myotrophic to androgenic effect, relative to testosterone propionate. Along with oxandrolone, which has a ratio of about 10 to 1, nandrolone esters are thought to have the highest ratio of anabolic to androgenic effect of any other AAS. For this reason, they are considered to be among the most appropriate AAS for use in women and children. Androgenic effects like virilization are relatively uncommon with nandrolone decanote at recommended dosages, though may still occur especially at higher dosages or with extended use. The low androgenicity of nandrolone decanote is thought to be due to the fact that whereas many other AAS like testosterone are potentiated via transformation by 5-alpha reductase into more potent R agonists like DHT in specific tissues including the skin, hair follicles, prostate gland, liver, and brain, nandrolone is instead inactivated by 5-alpha reductase via transformation into the low affinity R ligand 5-alpha dihydronandrolone in such tissues. This is thought to result in a much lower incidence and magnitude of facial, body hair growth, scalp hair loss, and possibly prostate issues like prostate enlargement and prostate cancer with nandrolone esters relative to testosterone. In addition to its anabolic and androgenic activity, nandrolone decanote has low estrogenic activity via its metabolite estradiol and moderate progestogenic activity. This may result in side effects such as fluid retention and gynecomastia. Like other AAS, nandrolone decanote has antigonadotropic effects. It has been found to suppress testosterone levels by 57% at a dosage of 100 mg per week and by 70% at a dosage of 300 mg per week in men following six weeks of treatment. Both the androgenic activity and the progestogenic activity of nandrolone decanote are thought to contribute to its antigonadotropic potency. Relative to testosterone, due to its lower estrogenic potency, much less of the antigonadotropic potency of nandrolone decanote is derived from its estrogenic activity. Pharmacokinetics Upon intramuscular injection in oil, which results in the formation of a long-lasting depot in the muscle, nandrolone decanote is stored unchanged and is slowly absorbed into the body. Once in the circulation, it is converted into nandrolone, which is the active form of the drug. There is a sharp spike in nandrolone levels 24 to 48 hours after an intramuscular injection of nandrolone decanote, followed by a steady decline to baseline levels within approximately two or three weeks. The bioavailability of nandrolone decanote is 53 to 73 percent with intramuscular injection and varies with the site of injection, with the highest bioavailability seen when injected into the gluteal muscle. Like testosterone, nandrolone is highly protein-bound and is present in the blood in both bound and free fractions. It has very low affinity for sex hormone binding globulin (SHBG), about 5% of that of testosterone and 1% of that of DHT. Nandrolone decanote is rapidly hydrolyzed in the blood by esterases into nandrolone, with a terminal half-life of one hour or less. The metabolism of nandrolone occurs in the liver and is very similar to that of testosterone, including reduction by 5-alpha reductase and 5-beta reductase, dehydrogenation by 3-alpha hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase, 3-beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase, and 17-beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase, and conjugation. The metabolites of nandrolone include 5-alpha dihydronandrolone, 19-norandrosterone, and 19-norishicolanolone, with 19-norandrosterone being the major metabolite. Other metabolites include 19-norandrosendione, 19-norandrostandiles, 19-norapiandrosterone, and conjugates. 
Nandrolone also undergoes aromatization into estradiol similarly to testosterone, though at a rate of only about 20% of that of testosterone or possibly even less. One study found virtually no aromatization of nandrolone in men. The elimination half life of nandrolone decanote administered by intramuscular injection is approximately 6 to 12 days. A study that assessed the duration of nandrolone decanote via its effects on the nitrogen balance found that a single 50 mg intramuscular injection had a duration of about 18 to 20 days. The blood half-life for the combined process of hydrolysis into nandrolone and elimination of nandrolone is 4.3 hours. Nandrolone and its metabolites are excreted in the urine, mainly in the form of conjugates. Although nandrolone decanote is usually administered by intramuscular injection, it has been found to be similarly effective when administered by subcutaneous injection. The pharmacokinetics of nandrolone decanote via subcutaneous injection closely resemble those of intramuscular injection. However, subcutaneous injection is considered to be easier, more convenient, and less painful compared to intramuscular injection. In addition, research suggests that most intramuscular injections in practice are in fact subcutaneous injections. Chemistry Nandrolone decanote, or nandrolone 17 beta decanote, is a synthetic estrained steroid and a derivative of testosterone. It is an androgen ester, specifically, it is the C17-beta-desolate decanote, ester of nandrolone, 19 nortestosterone, which itself is the 19-demethylated analog of testosterone. History Nandrolone decanote was first described in the literature in 1960. It was developed by Organon and was introduced for medical use under the brand name Decadurabolin in 1962. Shortly thereafter it became one of the most widely used AAS in the world. Nandrolone decanote was the second form of nandrolone to be introduced, having been preceded by nandrolone phenylpropionate in 1959. Society and culture Generic names Nandrolone decanote is the generic name of the drug and its USAN and ban. It has also been referred to as nandrolone desolate. Brand names Nandrolone decanote is or has been marketed under the brand names Decadurabolin, Decadurabol, Decanurabol, Metadec, and Ritabolil, among others. Availability Nandrolone decanote is available widely throughout the world, including in the United States, the United Kingdom, other European countries, Australia, New Zealand, Latin America, Asia, and elsewhere in the world. It has been discontinued in Canada. Its availability is becoming increasingly limited with time. United States Nandrolone decanote is one of the few AAS that remains available for medical use in the United States. The others as of November 2017 are testosterone, testosterone sapionate, testosterone enanthate, testosterone undecanoate, methyl testosterone, fluoxymesterone, oxandrolone, and oxymethylone. Nandrolone phenylpropionate was marketed in the United States previously but is no longer available in this country. Legal status Nandrolone decanote, along with other AAS, is a Schedule III controlled substance in the United States under the Controlled Substances Act. References Further reading Goosens, P. 1995. Nandrolone decanote, Pharmacological Properties and Therapeutic Use in Osteoporosis. Klin. Rheumatol. 14 supple 332-9. doi, 10.1007, bf 02210686. PMID 8846659. Kickman at 2008. Pharmacology of Anabolic Steroids. Br. J. Pharmacal, 154 502-21. Doi 10.1038 BJP.2008.165 PMC 2439524 PMID 18,000,000 378 
Hemmersbach, P. Gross J. 2010. Nandrolone, a multifaceted doping agent. Han DBEXP Pharmacal, 195, 127-54. doi, 10.1007, 9783-540-79088-4-6. PMID 20,020,363. Valema MS, KWABH, Durand W. 2012. Should androgenic anabolic steroids be considered in the treatment regime of selected chronic obstructive pulmonary disease patients? Cura Pin Palm Med, 18, 2, 118-24. DOI 10.1097 MCP 0B013E32834E9001 PMID 22189453 Busardo FP Fraudi P Sanzo MD Napolitano S Pinchi E Zami S Finishi V 2015 The impact of nandrolone decanote on the central nervous system Kerr Neuropharmacal, 13, 1, 122 31. doi 10.2174 157015913666141212102258222. PMC 4462037. PMID 26,242,000. Wu C. Kovach Jr. 2016. Novel uses for the anabolic androgenic steroids nandrolone and oxandrolone in the management of male health. Kerr Ural Rep. 17, 10.1007 per seconds 11934-016-0629-8. PMID 27535042. Panem, Kovach Jr. 2016. Beyond Testosterone Sapionate, Evidence Behind the Use of Nandrolone in Male Health and Wellness. Transil Andril Ural, 5-2, 213 9 DOI, 10.21037, Tau, 3 March 2016. PMC 4837307. PMID 27141449 External links Deca Girabolan, Nandrolone Decanote, William Llewellyn's Anabolic. Org.